Hello everybody, in this week's episode, I will be sitting down with Anna Folks, who thought after the death of her first husband had no reason to live. But ironically enough, all of that changed after she was diagnosed with a life-threatening disease. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hi, I am Imoitinya. Welcome to the series On The Bench. On this show, I'll be bringing to you stories from around the world of ordinary people who, despite the challenges, choose to live extraordinary lives, all of which will be told on the bench. Anna Folk's first husband died when she was just 45 years old. She found herself alone and in a state of despair. Life was no longer worth living, she says. Then her life took a turn for the better when she began a relationship with an old friend, except he had a secret. When he became very ill, Anna learned the nature of that secret. He had AIDS. For you and your story though, um, how did you find out you were HIV positive? I actually went to a place to get tested because I had been dating someone who had died by the time I got tested. Um, and halfway through the relationship, he did disclose that he was positive. But I knew I had been exposed, but I felt fine. But then all of a sudden I didn't feel fine and I knew something was wrong. And so I suspected I maybe had HIV, so I went to get tested. And that's how I found out. The human immunodeficiency virus, also known as HIV, is a virus that causes AIDS. There is no cure, but people living with it can survive if they seek medical treatment early and use the prescribed medications uninterruptedly. Some of the ways HIV can be transmitted are unprotected sex, the sharing of hypodermic needles, pregnancy, and blood transfusion. What is a big, the big misconception when it comes to HIV? I guess I will say for some young people, they think it can't happen to them. Okay. They think they're not vulnerable, you know. And a lot of young people think, oh, it's no big deal. If it happens, I only have to take a pill, and now it's one pill a day. But they don't understand they have to take that one pill a day every single day for the rest of their lives. And that that one pill may cause some other things to happen within their body. So that so, one pill could lead to two pills? Could well, yeah, two pills. it could. I mean, you know, that one pill may uh, suppress the HIV virus, but it may increase your cholesterol level, which is helping to suppress the HIV mm -hmm. virus. So now your cholesterol went up, so you got to take cholesterol medication. And taking that medication may also cause your blood pressure to go up. So you're taking blood pressure oh, medication. Wow. And, <laughs> and so, and then as you get older, you do end up taking more medications for Anyways, something, right. you know, a lot of black people, particularly for diabetes right. or whatever. So, yeah, they don't understand that this is not just snap your finger and it, and goes, it goes away. away. Anna learned of her HIV diagnosis at age 59. Six months later, her pharmacist invited her to an HIV and aging seminar at the University of Maryland. This new chapter gave her a newfound purpose. She became an advocate for older adults living with HIV. God bless me with HIV because it was a blessing. It was a blessing in that prior to my diagnosis, I had been depressed. I was grieving my deceased husband. And after diagnosis, I began to realize I wasn't going to die and that I was going to live and I might as well make the best of it. And then doors began to open and I had things happen that I never would have anticipated. Mm. You know, like I was on the cover of Paz magazine. Mm. I was on billboards in New York. Wow. <laughs> you know, I went to South Africa for a conference. These were things that, you know, you have a bucket list, maybe. Right. <laughs> Anna says being diagnosed with HIV changed her life for the better. My life improved, my, my eating habits improved, my lifestyle improved. You know, I used to smoke, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. You know, um, so a lot of things got better. And they were, if not a direct, an indirect result of, right. of me ha being HIV positive and having to take better care of myself. In the United States, 1.1 million people are living with HIV. 
One in seven people with the disease do not know they have it. Nearly half of the people living with HIV are 50 years of age and older. Many contracted the virus in their younger years. However, thousands of older adults are infected with HIV annually. You know, my generation used condoms specifically to keep from getting pregnant or getting syphilis or getting gonorrhea. That was it, <laughs> okay? Oh, wow. If you got pregnant at one point, Maybe not quite my generation, but the generation before mine. If you got pregnant, you got married. That was it. No, okay. Was if you got gonorrhea or syphilis, penicillin cured it. You were okay. okay. So in my generation, the pill came wrong, long. Hallelujah. Free at last. Free at last. We don't need to use a condom. I'm not going to get pregnant. Uh -huh. Okay. And we didn't think any more about it. Okay. So older adults were not used to using condoms. It was just a, a thing, you know, why, why bother? So you, if you've been married, you're not used to using a condom. When you get older, if one spouse dies, then you're widowed, but you're still having sexual urges and you may have a relationship with someone and become active, you don't think about, I need to use a condom. Mm. And basically because most older adults are, were unaware or the least educated, I should say, about HIV. Mm. There are a lot of venereal diseases older people don't even know exist. Anna remarried. She met her current husband, Paul Johns, at a Mother's Day event. Both are in their 70s and reside in Baltimore, a city that has the 10th highest HIV rate in the nation. Although COVID-19 has dominated the news for more than a year, Anna advises us not to lose sight of the virus that predates the pandemic. She says, when you know your HIV status, the life you save may be your own. Anna hopes her story continues to encourage people to live healthier and happier lives. Life is good. We all have something to deal with young or old, eventually you have to deal with something. You know, the older you get, the more you will have to deal with. But uh, enjoy your living, move forward. Nothing can hold you back but you.